Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. It's Wednesday, which means tonight we have our second Wednesday night Advent service. As a reminder, our series for these services this year is O Come Emmanuel. And this series is based on what we call the O Antiphons. These are ancient verses used by the church for centuries during the Advent and Christmas seasons. And each verse is based on an Old Testament title for the Messiah, an Old Testament title for Jesus. And each week we're looking at each of those titles, each of those antiphons, and learning more about our Savior. Last week we had the first O Antiphon, Come O Wisdom. And we talked about Jesus as our wisdom. Tonight, our O Antiphon is Come, O Lord. And we're going to talk about Jesus as our Lord. Now, of all the O Antiphons, of all these titles that we have for Jesus, this one probably makes the most sense. Of course, Jesus is Lord. He's God. Because when we hear that word Lord, that's how we perceive it. That's how we interpret the word. We see the word Lord as a title for God. But there's actually more to the word than we might realize at first. The word Lord is a generic term used for anyone who is your boss, your master, someone who's in authority. Now that is certainly an appropriate word to describe Jesus, to describe God, because he is the boss, he's the master, he's the one in authority. But tonight we want to unpack that word a bit more. And just for the sake of this devotion, I just want to get you thinking. When you think of a boss or a master, if you think about an earthly authority figure, what comes to mind? What is your attitude towards those in authority? Perhaps you have experienced some very positive authority figures in your life. Perhaps you've also witnessed some not so positive examples of authority figures. People who did not use their authority well. People who were not fair who are cruel, who are mean. With that unpacking of the word, how does that translate then when we call Jesus the boss, the master, our Lord? We'll talk about that tonight, but of course we won't stop there. We'll be reminded that unlike our earthly bosses, our earthly masters, Jesus is the perfect one. He doesn't come to crack the whip. He comes to love, to forgive, and to bring peace. And so it's a good thing that Jesus is the boss. It's a good thing that Jesus is in charge. It's a good thing that Jesus is Lord. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your Son, Jesus, our Lord, our Master, our Boss. Lord, teach us to live under his authority, to find comfort in that authority, knowing that Jesus, as the one who's in charge, comes not to crack a whip, not to hurt or harm or control, but to love, to forgive, and to save. In your name we pray. Amen. Pray God's blessings on your day, and I hope I'll see you all tonight at 7 for our Wednesday night worship service. Amen.